Last week, it was Mason Heinschel taking on the honor, so he's ineligible this week. He very well could be. had a great game, but since he won last week, ineligible. But we've got four more fine selections for you, beginning with Mike Robinson's choice. I got to unbutton this one because you know what time it is. <laughs> go back hey, today. let's go ahead and get it. Rewind your clocks back to the glass bowl. It's not the Rockets out here making plays. It is a Rocket-like offense. Daryl Barnett, several interceptions, one for six, the game winning touchdown, oh, and it. then this the walk-off right here. Look at him. Get to the pylon. Score. Daryl Barnett, that is my pick. Player of the week. Beat St. Francis, also beat the weather last night to get yes. that game in. Mike Jewell, your pick. Oh, do I love that pick. Congratulations. Hey, my guy, Toledo Christian. Mm. I think he just scored another <laughs> touchdown moments ago. Carter Kester. Offensively, he knows how to get open in eight-man football, and you got to play both sides of the ball. Pick six, big play. My selection this week, I'm heading over to Holland and Springfield's Eli Beal. Yes, sophomore scoring the first and last touchdown for the Blue Devils in the 30-20 victory. It looked a little bit like Rodgers was going to win this one. Eli Beal had other ideas, and that's why he is my right. choice. For this week's Charlie Sodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Player of the Week. And the fans pick, Grant Good Kinney old. from Anthony a Wayne. Had a hand in five of the six Anthony Wayne touchdowns. Three rushing, two passing. You have until noon on Monday to head to the BCSN Whoa. Twitter page and click your pick. We'll have the winner on Monday.